Welcome back, new tutorial for a new feature, this time Resonite Packages. Uh, we'll be covering exporting and importing today, but first of all, what is a Resonite Package? A Resonite Package is a standalone file that you can export and import into Resonite to uh, create objects or avatars that you have previously created inside Resonite. These files are meant to be used for things like backups or maybe even purchases through sites like Gumroad, etc., where you want people to pay a fee and then gain access to an avatar's files. Let me just turn down the volume a little bit more on that cow because it is going to be moving throughout this video. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you how to create a Resonite package, as in export something from Resonite into a Resonite package for two objects. This avatar on the left, which is my regular avatar, and the milkable cow version 2 by Gibbo on the right here. The reason why I wanted to cover both is to emphasize to you guys that you can export both avatars and objects. You can't currently export worlds, but if you'd like that feature, open up a GitHub issue and we'll take a look at it when we can. So to export this avatar as a Resonite package, I'm going to go ahead and grab, oop, not my mask, just myself. Okay, Cal. And I'm going to tab over to the files tab of my um, dash with uh, the, the, the avatar health. You can kind of see it floating around at the bottom. I'm still holding it. I can then push the plus here, which will start the regular export flow. Um, in this case, we're going to add a two to the end of the package name, just so I know that it's a new package. And I'm going to select Resonite package. If you would like to, you can select Resonite Package Plus Variants, which will include the asset variants of um, the package that you're exporting. This results in a larger file size, but it's also uh, faster to import sometimes because the variants don't need to be recalculated. It doesn't really matter either way, uh, but the choice is yours. Go ahead and hit Export. You'll see that this is exported and then done and then the uh, export dialog disappears. And if I come over to the left here, you can see I'm far away from the other copy of the avatar. I can open up this again and you'll see entity2.resonite package. And I can just click that and it's already imported. That's how fast it is. And this is a fully functional avatar that is separate from that one over there in that I can, I can get into it and walk up to the mirror. I'm not sure why I'm small right now, but there we go. Um, so that went out of my computer and came back in. I might as well just stay in it for the rest of the video now. Uh, that's creating an, and exporting and importing a Resonite package for an avatar. Now onto an uh, object. So when it comes to objects, it's important to find the object root. In particular note, what we wanna do here is make sure that we're not exporting just the cow. We need the cow and the bucket. In this case, it's set up correctly, but just in case it isn't, you can go ahead and inspect the object and just ascend up the hierarchy in the inspector until you see an area that you want to export. So in this case, I want to export the whole Milkable Cow 2.0 to a Resonite package. So I'm gonna grab that from the inspector here, Milkable Cow 2.0, go over to Resonite testing here, hit plus, Resonite package, export. Done, and then this will close. And then we're going to run around outside here. Might as well have a free range cow outside and click Milkable Cow V2. And you'll see that it is re importing. This had a few more assets, so it took a little bit longer. Like, I don't think the eye uh, texture has loaded yet. There we go. Now it's loaded. And again, the cow is here. And the other reason I wanted to show you this is because it exported with an animation, with a sound with uh, other objects such as this bucket and also functionality. Like I can clone this bucket and I can milk the cow still. All of that functionality still exists. So you go that importing and exporting and creating of a Resonite package for an avatar and an object working totally fine. I do want to cover one other part in this video, which is there is a new Protoflux node. So if we go to browse nodes and we go into flow uh, events, and then you'll see on package import, this node will basically fire an impulse when um, a hierarchy detects that it's a Resonite package that has been imported. We're gonna have to kill the cow, sorry. Bye cow. Um, it's making too much noise. <laughs> so what you might want to do, for example, is embed this into um, your object or avatar and have a way uh, where that, that object or avatar can detect that it's been imported. And you can do various things there. Like maybe you want to pop open a piece of UI so they can configure it. Maybe you want to um, pop open a message that says thank you because maybe they've purchased it, right? And they import the Resonite package into Resonite and this node fires and then it's like, 
thank you for purchasing my avatar. I hope you have fun, you know, all that sort of stuff. You can do anything there. For the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and just uh, show it working. Uh, so if we pull out um, a uh, ribbon here, push secondary, uh, then you'll see that this has happened here. We've got this. And what I'm going to do is just parent this to a regular cube, uh, not the walking mode, to a regular cube, export it as a Resonite package, and then bring it back in again. So here's a cube. And we'll go ahead and we will pack all of that code into there, and then I will immediately unpack it so that it stays visible. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab this cube, export it as a Resonite package. Uh, and then come over here so you know it's different. So we'll go for this, this wall. And then re-import my package. You can see it imported, and we had an impulse fire here. So that's a way that you can um, detect if it's part of a package import. Additionally, some uh, notes on avatar protection. There's a new field on the avatar protection component, and I will show you now. I'm losing my voice all of a sudden in the middle of a tutorial. Give me a second, I'll cough off mic. Okay, that's fixed. Um, so if we go to users, common avatar system, simple avatar protection, this has now added the avatar protection to my cube. You'll see down here, there is a reassign user on package import checkbox. If this is left on, when a user imports a previously exported Resonite package that contains this component, uh, this component will pick up that event and reassign the importing user here. So as an example here, let's say I gave this box Unity package to my friend on a different computer, on a different Resonite user account, and I asked them to import it. That would lead to um, the user being assigned that imported it, that friend, to this simple avatar protection component. This uh, property and this process is great, again, for sort of avatar purchases on things like Gumroad or um, other ways that you might distribute your avatar. But for some people, it might not be ideal. So if you don't want that behavior, go ahead and turn it off. It does default to on because in most cases you want it to be on. Uh, but do keep in mind that when it defaults to on, it would not be an idea to share the Resonite package that results when this is turned on, because what you'll be giving there is um, a copy of your avatar or whatever that can be accessed by anyone. So I, I recommend turning this off if you have concerns, basically. If you're stressed out and don't understand, just turn it off and you'll have no concerns. But if you are distributing an avatar, particularly to one of those um, uh, marketplaces like Gumroad, etc., you want to leave this on. So a person buys the avatar, brings in the Resonite package format, and that will be turned on. Uh, that is, I think, all of the Resonate package stuff. I do want to leave some uh, notes on the end of this, though, that are important, which is, uh, one, Resonate package is not supported by Unity. It has nothing to do with Unity. Unity doesn't understand it and will not understand it. If you want that, you're going to have to take a look at the GitHub and open some, some feature requests there. Uh, secondarily, um, you can theoretically examine the contents of a Resonite package, and if you want to see a video on that, I can take you through it. You can learn some stuff about how Resonite structures things internally, but that format is probably very difficult to work with. Um, it is technically possible to make a tool that can work with that format, and I probably think we'll see some, um, but it, it's going to be complicated because when you export a Resonite package, it includes everything about the avatar in a variety of files inside that Resonite package. If you have any additional questions about the Resonate package, do also check out the wiki page that I wrote for the future. Um, I'll link that in the video description. And you can also leave some comments if you've got questions or contact me on Discord. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.